What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel City Boy Farming. <laughs> yes, that's right chicken. And in this video, we're gonna collect some mulberries and make some mulberry jam. So as you can see, my tree is a little beat up and everything. That's cause my turkeys was, you know, cage free at the moment and they just start climbing up the tree, just beating up everything. So I'm gonna collect as much berries as I can. Uh, the berries that you want are the ones that's darkened and ready to be picked. It should be easy to fall off. Show you as an example. I'm gonna show you as an example. So I'm gonna just find one like this one. You should touch it and it should be ready to fall off like that. I'm gonna put it in this bucket right here and I'm just collect some more. All right, got me a cup full. Got some with ants in it though. That's why it's very important that you rinse these out. I said cup full, but this this is a lot. So I'm gonna wash them out. Let them soak in some water. Uh, sprinkle salt in your water. You can do a little bit of, I say a cap full of vinegar inside just to get all the mugs and let it flow to the top. Uh, it should define which one are the bad ones and the good ones. The ones that float to the top, get rid of. Um, that's why, that's why I would say. Some people are keeping it in there. I guess good protein if you're keeping the bugs. I don't know. That's not me, but yeah. Here, got me a good amount. I went to a different bush this time. I'm about. It's still somewhere on there, but I'm gonna see how much I can get out of this. All right, this is what you wanna do. Soak it in water with some salt and vinegar, and you can see all the, if I can get a good clear shot of the spiders and bugs climbing up to the top, and you just pluck those out, pick them out, and you should be good from there. All right, now for my dry ingredients, I have six tablespoons of pectin and four cups of sugar. You can add more, you can adjust the way you like it, but this is the way I'm doing it because one, Mulberries are sweet, so I don't need that much sugar and the pectin should help it out, packed up and eaten. It should be easy to go. Also, you can't add lemon juice. That's what I'll be doing to the liquid uh, once everything, you know, turns to liquid. Now that I have all the dry ingredients in there, this is time where you want to turn it and bring it to a boil. Uh, so I do have it on the stove, in the pot. So let's get to it. So I am actually doing this so I can get all the berries mashed. And I'm also stirring this at the same time. And I have it on a medium high right now, so I can get all nice and syrupy. Or I should say a little thick. And it's getting there. Um, but I want all the berries to get mashed so all the juice can come out. That's what I want. And then once it starts seeing the bubble, I turn it down, then I get to strain it. All right, some parts is getting there to a boil. But you see that fuzziness on top? That's what you don't want. You can take it off with a spoon like this. But since I am straining it, I like putting it through a cheesecloth, it won't matter for me. Um, but if there is some residue left, I will take it off because this is the part that get hardened and you don't want to scrape that crystallization off. The, it's just irritating, you don't want it in your jelly. All right, y'all, here's the final result. As you can see, I kind of went carried away with the seeds. I forgot to strain those out because I was using my strainer instead of my cheesecloth at the time. But at the bottom ones, you can see I did a pretty great job and there's only a few seeds in there uh, that the seeds do flow through the top. That's okay. Um, I can easily scoop it out if they're too much at the top. But here's the final results. Got them in a jar now and let them cool down. Um, I do recommend you that you do clean off your jars and stuff, but yeah, so I did all this with within, what, I'd say an hour? It took me an hour to do all this. Uh, I said, the reason why I say it took too long is because I was picking the berries, and I did get the berries out of my neighborhood, in my backyard, so that's a plus right there. I ain't really have to spend no money, actually, so that's pretty good. But yeah, if you find this video very helpful, please hit that like button. Also, if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and that bell notification to get notified when I post more videos. Again, this is City Boy Farming. Thanks for watching. Peace.